Why is it required to have critical care experience before applying to CRNA school? CRNAs carry a lot of responsibility. There's no magic formula or algorithm that you can memorize in order to give anesthesia safely. A safe plan for anesthesia requires an in-depth knowledge of pathophysiology, pharmacology, as well as an understanding of the surgery that's taking place, the ability to think on your feet quickly, to plan ahead for an emergency, and come up with plan A, B, C through Z in case something goes wrong. CRNA school on its own without the context of being an ICU nurse first would simply not be enough schooling or time in order to develop these skills adequately. We rely on you already coming in with a level of baseline knowledge as well as experience to build upon. Your time as an ICU nurse should be spent absorbing as much knowledge as you possibly can. Dig into the why behind every single little thing you do. When the time comes to apply to CRNA school, they're going to be seeing if you're the type of person who's investing in that knowledge, the type of person who goes above and beyond to really understand your patients because that's the level of diligence that is required in this profession. This week, I got to work in outpatient endoscopy. I had a day of pediatric anesthesia. Then I taught a central line class. Tonight, I'm going back to the simulation lab to teach a mini course in how to use ultrasounds for IVs. And tomorrow, I'll be back in the operating room doing cardiac anesthesia. And I wouldn't be able to be adaptable and flexible to work in all of these types of environments if I was not the type of person who was dedicated to learning. I encourage you to stop looking at the ICU as just a stepping stone to getting there. Enjoy the process of learning. Get as much as you can out of the clinical environment and take every single lesson with you when you eventually become a CRNA.